Today's horror manga dub and narration is Roommate. If you enjoy the story at any point in time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this chilling tale. In the dim, flickering light of the bathroom, our protagonist, who's somewhat forgetful, reaches for his cup on the sink. But today, something was amiss. His toothbrush was nowhere to be seen. He frowned, glancing around. But that was when his eyes widened as a long, bony hand extended from the shadows. The nails on the hand were unnaturally sharp, catching the dim light with a menacing glint. The hand, almost skeletal in appearance, moved with a deliberate grace, holding out the toothbrush as if it were a prized relic. Our protagonist grabbed it within his thumb and index finger, and a smile formed on his face. But that was when the skeletal hand reached around his head, and fear immediately plagued his face. He averted his eyes to the side, and saw what appeared to be a normal man. He had long hair and a goatee on his chin, but when he looked over, he still couldn't help but feel uneasy. He grabbed his tube of toothpaste, squeezing tightly as the mixture went across the bristles, and then he closed his eyes, but little did he know, right beside him was a gray, skeletal-like figure with razor-sharp teeth and sunken eyes. He continued to keep his eyes closed as the creature morphed into something more. It was now nearly twice his height, and when he opened his eyes, he noticed that metamorphosis. But then, when he averted his eyes from down, back to the direction of the mirror, what he saw was that his roommate was just a regular man once again, a muscular one at that. Still, regular. He had tired, sunken eyes and began to brush his teeth too. There was definitely something off about him. But then, in an instant, when our protagonist looked over once more, he was once again that decrepit creature. He turned his head even more, now directly facing the creature, which held a toothbrush between its thumb and index finger. The creature used the toothbrush to get between its sharp teeth, cleaning them one by one and getting rid of any sort of moss that was in between. But our protagonist kept his cool. He fingered for him to go backward and waved him off. Meanwhile, in the room, there was something completely off and uncanny. One of the beds was missing altogether, but you could still see the outline of where it once remained, the scratches it had left on the floor and on the walls aside. What had happened here? Our protagonist was in complete awe. But when he looked behind him, what he saw was that no one was in the bathroom either. It was now completely dark and the lights off. All that remained was the towel hanging. But unfortunately, what he didn't know was right behind him was his roommate. Once again, in that sinister, mangled form. The figure's head tilted at an unnatural angle, and it began to crawl slowly toward him, its elongated limbs scraping against the tiles below. What fate befalls our protagonist, and what truly is his roommate? One thing's for certain, that's why you have to be careful who you live with. I hope you all enjoyed.
Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Moto Surf, Leo, Dason Animus, Minyu Wei, Rich Harris, Andre Wolf, Tanya M, Kago, and Voodoo. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.